How's it going, everybody? This is Peter Bush. Today, I'm going to talk about why you should not buy this Oculus Quest 2 from Facebook. This video is brought to you by Moomoo. Get five free shares of stock valued between three and $3,500. One for opening up an account, another one for depositing any amount, and three more shares of stock for depositing $2,000 or more. For a limited time only, you can get an Oculus Quest 2 for depositing $100 or more. Moomoo is giving away 85 of these, and from my contact, I know the odds are pretty good if you sign up for this. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. I bought this refurbished version. It has 64 gigs in it for only $200. Amazon sells a 128 gigabyte version. It's not refurbished, it's brand new, and that one costs $300. And and then they bump it up another $100 if it's gonna be the 256 gigabyte version. Personally, I am not that big a gamer and it seems like Quest 2 is really for gaming. I've installed about a dozen different apps and I barely hit the 64 gigabyte mark. I think I only use about 20 gigabytes so far. So I really do think that if you're gonna get this to try it out, you should get the lowest gigabyte version unless you know you're gonna use it a lot and record videos and put movies and stuff on it or anything. So to get in on this, you can get in at a really, really low price point, but I'm not even recommending that. You'll notice that I have an aftermarket head strap over here. There's an additional strap that goes over the top of your forehead. Without this, it's just basically a band and a thing that goes over your head like this. It actually holds the entire weight of your headset around the top of your head. If you use the stock headband, you'll start to realize that it tries to hold the entire weight of the headset on the top of your eyebrows over here. And when you're using it, you tend to want to kind of look up and look down. And if there's something sitting on your head and pushing it against your head, you're gonna start to feel a little bit of fatigue around your face area. So I think getting an aftermarket headband is absolutely required. So if you're looking at this $200 price mark, you have to add another $40 to it uh, to make it usable. When I was using this thing, I went into an app called Big Screen where you can share a screen publicly with other people. So I went into this movie theater and all of a sudden there's this little devil or something and they try to get within your personal space and like, I don't know what they're doing. They're like virtual kiss me or something like that, but it was like an invasion of privacy that I did not like. Another time I was in Horizon venues, you think that because Facebook make it, they would have a little bit more better safeguard. When I spawned into their virtual world, I happened to be a, quite a bit lower, I think because I was sitting down and my avatar was, you know, like at, waist height compared to other people and then there's these teenagers or something they're like hey why are you you know so low down after asking for a while they attempted to hump up my face they got really close to me i'm like heck no i knew what was coming so then i just kind of like ran away from that stuff but i think if i were to bear with it you know maybe i could record video report them or something but i did i did not want to do that it was just too much hassle i'd rather just go somewhere else, just respawn at a proper level so that you know people aren't trying to hump your face. So beware of this. If you're gonna give this to kids, they're going to have to go into this public space where it's pretty toxic sometimes. And this is just something that you have to deal with because people are sort of anonymous. When people don't have their real face in a virtual world, they tend to do things as if they're behind a mask. I also use the virtual desktop and I think after using it for a while, it's actually not usable unless you are doing something very, very basic. Yes, you can browse the web, but the screen that is within your virtual desktop is actually slightly smaller than 1080p, which is high definition. My personal monitor is a 4K monitor, so it definitely doesn't match up. And if you were to ask me, do I want to go into the virtual world to use my computer? No, I don't want to because I have a desktop. But maybe if I was on a plane, maybe I would want to use that if I can pull up a virtual desktop and you know, it will look very wide and vast. Or maybe if I cannot bring my monitor everywhere I can go, I can bring my VR headset and use my computer as if I had a monitor. But do note that if you're using a virtual desktop, you are sacrificing quality. And I just don't think this is a viable use case yet. So if you're trying to buy this thing so that you can use a virtual desktop, I do not think this is a worthy use case. I even tried to watch a 
feature length movie, which is about two hours long on this headset. I tried to sit through the entire thing and guess what? The battery did not last long enough. It lasted about an hour 45 because it took me 15 minutes to fidget with this virtual desktop thing in order to play a video. They reported saying that it should last about three hours when you're watching movies, but I think because I was running a virtual desktop, it might have consumed a little bit more battery. So if you're thinking about buying this and thinking that you can have a really nice home theater system, right? That's like a hundred inch screen and then you'll have a really great time as if you don't have to buy a home theater at all. No, this is not the case. The battery does not last long enough for you to do this. And if you want it to last long enough, maybe you just have to plug it in or maybe you have to get an external battery that you can add to this. This is gonna add a little bit more cost to it. It's also gonna make it a bit more heavy. In the very near future, they're gonna come out with a new headset thing called Project Cambria within Facebook. The idea with this thing is they're probably gonna upgrade everything, including having tracking cameras inside the headset so that you can do facial expressions and it would be reflected within their horizon venues or horizon worlds. I suspect they're gonna improve other things such as battery power or maybe the viewable resolution at that time. So if you're holding out, you might wanna hold out for the next version. So you might not want to buy this one just yet. Currently in Horizon World and Horizon venues, there are no legs. So it's a little bit awkward seeing people floating around with like a detached body. Another drawback with VR is also you might feel disoriented. It's going to move you around sometimes in certain types of games or certain types of reality simulators. Imagine you're in a virtual space and you can look around and all, right? But suddenly you're looking around and then you get teleported forward five feet or smoothly moved over there five feet. This act of motion that is disconnected from your actual physical movement is gonna cause you to feel disoriented and also give you motion sickness. I think to minimize this, you probably just have to not do it. But a lot of the Horizon World's virtual space requires you to move around exactly in this way. Now, I think the VR thing is great if you are just looking to try it out to see what the current state of the technology is. After using it for so long, I don't see myself just going back time and time again to explore different things, just to use it as a utility. What it is good for, for me personally, is to just check out different apps. Once I know how it functions, I tend to not use it anymore. For example, you can watch 3D movies, right? I know what it's like. I don't want to watch a 3D movie within this VR thing because it's not that comfortable, even with this band thing. I think the only thing I would really use it for is probably Beat Saber, because this is the only compelling thing that is actually kind of fun. It doesn't give me disorientation. The resolution is fine because the graphics is lowish polygon, so then everything looks pretty smooth. So overall, I definitely don't recommend buying the 256 gigabyte version nor the 128 gigabyte version. If you really, really want to try this, get the refurbished version, the 64 gigabyte, then your total cost outlay is going to be minimized. It's great as a novelty product. It's great to play certain games. So if you don't really game all that much, I don't think it's actually necessary. You don't need to buy this. If you're not looking into investing into the VR virtual space, you don't need to try it because it's not a really, really good use case just yet. I also think the next generation is probably not gonna be a slam dunk either. Probably two more generations, it's when it's gonna start looking really, really compelling. Thanks for watching this video. Sorry, I'm a little bit rushed because right now I am in entire itch ball because I have some food allergies right now. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more.